is Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. Oh, my phone is visible in the camera. Camera! Um, hello, I hope this video finds you well. Today we are doing a pen, an Oto Hut. I have never reviewed one of these before, so this is wild. And I just, let's get it out of the way. These are on loan from Applebaum through Auto Hut and they're going back. So thank you very much. I appreciate it because it helps me bring fun new things to you. And I have three different ones, so I'm gonna do them in separate videos. But this is one that I really like in some ways and do not like in others. So let's do, let's talk about that. I'm gonna do the packaging up here because it's too big and I just, whatever. So this is the box. It is very reminiscent of like the Olmas metallic sleeve. Great. Just a cardboard box. I don't mind it because I like simple boxes that I can reuse. The pen comes in this little bed. Um, underneath you get, you get some cool stuff underneath. So now we can switch here. You get a converter. Very exciting. You get a sleeve in which the pen goes. It it's very weird. It's really snug and it feels weird to shove it in there because it just like doesn't want to go. Um, I mean, it went in. It is definitely leather though. Like it's real leather. The, it's actual leather. It's just in my nostrils. You get a little box of cartridges. You get a silver cleaning cloth and your paper pen information. So this is the design 07 in the sterling silver finish. There is another finish, um, like a darker one. It's pretty cool. So right off the bat, this is, I, I have this from another reviewer, so it already has development to it. And I can definitely say if you're someone who likes pristine pens, it will drive you nuts because it'll pick up scratches and marks. But that is why you get this real leather sleeve to carry your pen in. But anyway, um, let's, I don't mind the box. I can, I can reuse this, this cardboard. Uh, made in Germany, thank you, Otto. So the Design 7 is Otto Hutt's flagship pen. Yes, I'm reading this off the screen because I did not memorize this. The pen is the very essence of artistic perfection. Form and functionality are combined in an energetic body. A bow, a bow, a bow to the, a bow to the beauty of clean shapes. Strong and elegant. The unmistakable idea of top class character outshines the rest. With a characteristic spring clip, mm -hmm, masterfully developed into a consummate design. It has an 18 karat gold nib and uses a cartridge converter, and it does include the cartridge and converter, which is not always a given with expensive pens. So speaking of expensive pens, I am going to just give you an approximate price because it depends where you're buying it from. It depends on many things and my price is probably gonna be different than yours. I'm in Canada, I can ship it at other places. So you're looking at like 725 US or so. So like three quarters of a thousand. So it's not inexpensive, but it is a sterling silver solid pen. And I'm just gonna grab my pen case to show you in a lineup how it stacks up to the other pens. So here we go. We have, let me make sure you can see that. Esterbrook SD Slim, the Platinum Curidas, the Franklin Christoph Model 46, Pilot Metropolitan, Leonardo Momento Zero, Lamy Safari, and then our Otto Hut, Hot, um, Jin Hao X750, Twisby 580, Twisby Eco, Platinum Preppy, Quebecco Sport. So in terms of size, it is actually not a huge pen. It's a pretty, it's a full size, but it's not oversized. It's just that it's thick and heavy. And I, but I like it. Like I like the size of it. It's very comfortable. And so that's how it looks unposted. I mean, sorry, uncapped, but we will do more detail with it now. So here we go. <clears throat> the top of the cap has got the OH logo. It is laser engraved. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know what else they could have done with that. 
it's a bit recessed, so I feel like they could have done something cool in there. Maybe like a like a hand engraved, but I guess that would raise the price a lot. The clip is really nice, very sleek and low profile. The center band is large, Otto Hut, uh, Germany, and of course it has hallmarks with the sterling silver. The body is tapered and it's kind of like widest at the end of the cap. <clears throat> In hand, again, full size. Uncapped, it's got the metal section that flares out a little bit. A good looking nib. It is very comfortable, like it feels good in hand. And in terms of the balance, really well balanced. And I don't, oh yeah. I did not do this at all when I was testing it out, but it can be posted. I don't post my pen, so I don't even bother. Um, it's pretty long and heavy, but if you're someone who likes heavy pens, this great. So the body has these like grooves, stripes in it, and um, it's, it's gonna pick up fingerprints like crazy. I literally polished this right before starting and uh, it's pretty filthy already. So I, I think once it actually picks up more marks from being used, the fingerprints will not show as much. So it'll actually look better when it's scuffed up than when it's not. So anyway, let's do this. I am going to ink it with you. We're gonna ink it together. Actually, I'm gonna do this. I don't wanna put the section in. This is why I have blue ink all over my fingers because I, my bottle is getting empty. My bottle is almost emptied. It's not, but it's getting low. So now we can write a little. Okay, we have the Auto Hut Design 07. It is Auto Hut's flagship pen. This is an 18 karat, I'm trying to remember the nib size. I'm pretty sure it's a fine. 18 karat, yes it is, fine. It is pretty fine. Interesting. So the nib, let me just show you. Single slit, round breather hole, two-tone. Um, it's got the auto hut engraving, 18 karat hallmark, the nib size, and just like some decorations. It's pretty nice, plastic feed. I'm pretty sure this is a Jovo, just based on the feed, but I don't know. I mean, I don't know for sure, so. The ink is Waterman. The current name is Obsession Blue, but it's 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 South Sea Blue. Uh, the middle name was Inspired Blue. I, I I love Waterman, but I hate the name changes. Why would they change it to Obsession Blue from South Sea Blue? That was so beautiful. Anyway, the nib is actually not super wet. It's kind of on the dry side and you know, like, I don't really care for super dry nibs, but it writes really very well. It is well tuned. It is not over polished, which is not really common with a fine nib, but it can happen. Well adjusted. And um, I'm going to do some little writing. It's really easy to write with because of the weight and the section, although metal, metal sections don't bother me, but I know they bother some people, but this one is really comfy. It does not slip. It does not pick up grease. I don't know what they did to it. It's really nice. It has a little bit of feedback, but I am using Midori paper, which is slightly toothy. On my regalia paper, it was smoother. So the paper will exacerbate or the, the feedback a bit if you don't like that um, juicy bouncing gum clots. in terms of feeling you can apply a little bit of pressure and get a broader line 
I because it's a fine, I would not recommend it just because if you apply too much pressure, you can actually spread the tines and make it a medium. And it's a really nice fine. So don't like why would you ruin it, right? So it is a really nice reverse writer. I don't always reverse, right? But I wanted to just show you that this one was really nice. I don't know if this will be the standard, but this one came out really nicely. So, not too shabby. I think we should look at it some more from the side, and then we will be right back. I mean, I'll be right back, not we. Well, kind of we. So you can see from the side that there's a lot going on on this pen in terms of stuff, like my touching it. And my hands are clean aside from ink. <laughs> so there we go. Thank you again to Applebaum and Otto Hutt for loaning me this pen. I really, really like the section in nib. I do not care for the rest of the pen. It just would bother me. It would stress me out too much. Sure, you can polish it. but it's too much work. I don't want that much work in my pens. But you might. And if you do, you can head over to Applebaum. You can use the discount code FRIEND for 10% off. I do not get a commission. It's just for you and just sharing. And you don't have to use it if you don't want to. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. So thank you, Applebaum. And you. Let me know what you think. I'm curious if the finish will drive you insane or is it just me? And uh, yeah, that's all. Take care everyone. We will see you next time on the next video where I will do more inky things and make a mess and stuff. <laughs>